We are going through the grade 12 IT paper, uh, PRAC exam from November 2019. And this is our video going through question two. Um, we're going to do some SQL today. So we're going to start with the first part of question two. And they tell me there's a database called HockeyDB. It contains two tables, the players and the teams. And they, they show me here what the data looks like in the players table. You can see the names of the fields there. And you can see the names of the fields of the teams. I think it's the teams uh, table. Boom, boom. There we go. And they just tell me that. So there's a restore button that we can use to restore the database. That's fantastic. Code is provided to link the graphical user interface. Do not change. The, blah, blah, blah. So they tell me there are two variables declared globally. There's the TBL teams, which connects to the the teams table and there's tbl players which connects to the players table so those are the, what we're going to use in our delphi code um, so let's start with the first question 2.1 as an example of the graphical user interface for the sql so we've got five questions that we need to work with so let's get into it so there we go right sql boom boom let's go 2.1.1 Okay, display the surnames, names of all the players with skill levels of 10. So we need to know what the stuff in the database looks like. So there we go. So there's the field. So we're going to go to Delphi. Boom. We've got the program over here. And if I go to the, at the top here, you can scroll down. You can see there are the, the variables that we're going to use. I think I'll lay down actually. Uh, but there's probably, if I click on 2.1, they've already written some code for us. We don't have to, we just have to write the SQL statement in there and it will run for us. So that's fine. So we're just going to do SQL. And if you remember, we want to scroll down. We want to select, oh, it's going to be weird going back and forth here. We want the player name and the player surname from the players table. So we're going to say select the player name. Is the player name first? Play a surname first, play a surname first, play a surname first, and the player name. And they must be spelt exactly like they are in the database. So we just want to display those two with a skills level of 10. So we just display, we're not displaying the skills level. So we're getting this from the skills level of 10. Remember that. So we, yes, that's what we want. We want to get it from TBL players, the players from tbl players where our skill level where the skills level make sure you spell it exactly like it is where the skills level is 10 and because it's an integer value you can just put it like it is that's what i think it should be let's run it and see if we get the same results Doo -doo -doo. okay so there are results if i go to the actual results here so those are the first four names do we have the same first four names it looks like we do fantastic that's what number one done fantastic now let's do number two yes 2.1.2 so we're gonna write the code over there and what do we need to do mr paper display the names of the coaches and the teams of all the b teams so we want the coach and the team name so we want the coach and the team name so we're going to select the coach and the team name and i'm this is obviously coming from tbl teams where okay so let's go over here coach and team name from all the b teams coach team name so let's scroll up here we've got that all right coach team name yep that's fine we want in that order and this is from tbl teams where they have a B team. Now, what does that mean? That means the end of the team name has a B. So we don't care what's in front of it as long as the end value is a B. So we want to use our wild cards here. So we're going to use where we want the team name to be something with a B at the end. So if we do that, it's because it's text, we're going to put double quotes and we want a B, but the B must be at the end. I can't say equals B because none of them equal B. We want them to have something and then a B. So we're using the like operator. And then normally you would use the star B, but remember in Delphi star is replaced by a percentage sign. So we want the team name to be have something, anything, I don't mind what it is, and then the B at the end. Okay, remember the three options. It's either starts with something, so that starts with B, that has a B somewhere in it, or it ends in B. So we want ends in B. So let's run and see if it works. 
Do, do, do. That's the one there. Boom. Hey, all the B teams. Okay. Now 2.1.3. So we've got code in there. Ooh, so they've already done an input for us. They've got something from a combo box. So we're going to interact with a variable, it looks like. Um, so the code has been provided. Fantastic. Thank you, Mr. Code Provided. And we want to display the name of the team, their coach, and the percentage of games they have won. That's going to be some sort of calculated field. Okay. And we want to example of output if that team is selected. So we're going to, if we enter that team, that's what we must get. So we want the team name, the coach, and the percentage of games won. Okay. So I'm assuming we're getting this from the the teams table. Okay. So team name, coach. So let's start with that. So we want to select the team's name and the coach. Now we want to do this calculated field. Team, it's team name, not team's name, Mr. Long. Go back to the code. Go back, go change that. Don't want to make an error. Boom. And the coach. And now we want to have the percentage games won, which is they haven't told us how this calculated, but that would be, if we look here, it would be the number of games that they have won divided by the number of games that they've played. So the number of games are won divided by the number of games. So number of games won, look how it's spelt, number of games played. So that's the calculation for this percentage. So it's number of games, number of games, of games won divide what is in that field divided by the number of of games played doesn't matter but i'm saying and we want that as a percentage or as a value so that's going to normally give us like a very decimal number and if you look at the results here they've got a whole number so you, you normally times that by a hundred to get it up to um, a whole number because normally it's a, a decimal value and we want to display it, as, that's what the heading must be, percentage games won, percentage games won. So I'm going to sum here, so we can use the as percentage games won. Okay, let's just double check, number of games played. I know it's annoying, but we've got to make sure that we spelt it correctly. Number, oh, it's number of games. Remember, it's the whole word, number of games played. Number of games played, number of games won. Number, so not no number yo oh, that would have been a mistake number of games played number of games won okay so that's the percentage what oh what table are we getting this from because that's just the fields we want to display we're getting it from the tbl teams table and there's a where so what's the criteria so we want the criteria to be it's just whichever team they selected where the team name is whichever team they typed in okay so we're going to say where the team name is equal to that variable, which is S team. Now, if I say equals to S team, that's a problem. So because that's in the, you see it's blue. We want it to be used as a variable. So we want to say where it equals, and we're going to add S team here. But if you think about it, if you set S, if you set under 14, you would say it like this, under 14B. That's how you would do it. Okay. Do you see that? So what I do is I put in the default there and I want to replace that with the S team variable. But I don't want that S team variable to be blue. I want it to be in black because then it's referring to the value inside the variable. So I'm going to end the string there and add whatever's in S team. And then I'm going to add another string which has the double quotes at the end. So that way we can make sure that we've got our double quotes around s team or you could just say plus quoted string of s team because s team is a string and i think that will work let's test it please work so we do so there's already got the team in it and they want us to test for for the b team so let's test the b team under 14 b thank you and we want this one from hey there we go it worked fantastic 2.1.4, we must find the, the average skill levels of teams who are used to identify teams or are used to identify teams with the highest possible winning games. Okay, there we go. Names an average skill level of all the teams with an average skill level of more than six. Okay, there's quite a lot going on here. So we want the team name and we want the average skill level. So we don't have average skill level in our table. We've got the skills level. 
but we don't have the average skill level so average team name and the average skill level so let's just look at our table so we want the skill level and the team name so we are actually dealing this table so we want to find the average of all those teams so based so we're going to be grouping it so average skills level so we want the average skill level and we want the team name from that table so we'll scrolling down again so let's go almost along to the program so we're going to go to question four so we're going to select we know we want the team name okay so we know that we want the team name now we want the average skill level so there's a function avg okay and that's of the skills level i think it's skills level okay the average skills level and we want to display that as a field called average skill level so we're going to use our as over here as average skill level and where are we getting this from we're getting this from the tbl players i know it seems like we're with teams but we the skills level is in the team is in the player table we find the average of all the teams so it's, it's just accumulating all the players from each individual team so average skill level from tbl players now the moment you have a calculated field with another field you will always group by this other field so we are going to group by the team name if you don't it'll give you an error so we want to group by the team name okay so let's just run that and see if that works for now see that we've spelt everything correctly i know that's not the final bit okay so we've got some stuff going now there's other things that they want me to do so let's see what these other things are so we only want those with an average skill level of six or more so there's a criteria here but the criteria is not based on the values in the table it's based on our calculated field which is the average skill level and we can't refer to that in the where so when you are referring to a criteria based on this calculate this aggregate field we need to use the having clause having that's going to be the at the end having an average skills level of six or more to say six or more of more than six so not including six of so greater than six having an average skills level of greater than six so the moment you are using uh like a where if you a criteria based on the calculated field on, on the aggregate field you can't use a where the average skill level is going. it's not going to work you need to say having so it's normally when you've got groupings that you've got that so we're going to run it and see if it works i think we're still not 100 percent finished but let's just test it just to see that we're on the right track so it's compiling do, 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 do. come quickly we want to go quickly there we go average okay so we've got teams okay and they've also got the teams but you see it's just it's the right data it's just ours is displayed slightly different okay and what did they say about that now they want me to formatted as one decimal place so we want to format it as a as to one decimal place so they say formatting so i'm going to come here to the average skill level this is our calculation we're going to say format it so you say format and then the second parameter of the format is what type and you're going to put it in double quotes and we're going to say oh it's it's not not point not that's like the like the template like the, the input mask type style of what it must look like let's see if that works so we say dot not so there's only one value after the not let's see what it does Do -do -do. every there we go and it actually puts a note in front so actually we can actually take that first note out so let's put no point not so it looks like that let's see what it looks like so there we go so there we can see the skill level is done exactly like they want in the question so there we go 8.2 7.7 8.4 there we go so that's displayed now i just want to take a little side note in the memo if you go and download the memo the memo uses round and so you can say round and then comma one for one decimal place so they do use the round function my only concern is the question actually says format and there is a difference between formatting and round so i think that's a mistake in the memo 
Um, I would assume that at the end of the year when they mark the exams that they would consider both options because they put it in their memo. But technically that is the correct way. The memo shouldn't say round, it should say format. Okay, so then 2.1.5, our last question. Let's go to it. Boom, 2.1.5. Now we're dealing with some sort of update. You can see here we're going to be updating. So we're using uh, an update, a delete, or an edit. So we want to insert, sorry. The results of the games won during the last sports day must be used to update the number of games won only. Only the under 14B team lost their game. So update the TBL teams table by adding one value, adding one to the number of games won field for the teams who won their game. Okay, so let's have a look at that. So we're going to go to here. Yeah, we're going to use the update option, update field. We're going to update TBL teams. Okay, then we're going to say, what are we changing? We're going to set. So we're going to change the number of games won, it says there. The number of games won, we're going to add one onto it. So whatever it is at the moment, add one onto it. Number of games won is equal to the number of games won plus one. So take whatever's in the number of games won value at the moment and add one onto it. And we are going to do that based on which, if you leave it like that, it's going to do all the records like that. But we want only they lost a game. So we want all the teams except for the under 14B team because they lost a game. So all the other teams won a game. So where the team name, okay, is not under 14B. is So not, remember, not equal to, is shine bright like a diamond, not equal to under 14, how do they put it in the database? It's under 14, uh, slash 14 space B, slash 14 space B. But remember that's text, so you must put double quotes around it. So update all the teams to add one except for the under 14 B team. Okay. So let's see. Did they say anything else? There we go. That should, we should see that successfully if it all works. Let's run it. Update. No errors pop up. Oh, it's been updated. And so hopefully the number of games won should be one more than the previous. If you remember, I think it was uh, B was, okay. They they lost, so they didn't go up one. But the others, that was a four, if I remember correctly. And that now is a five. So it is working. Okay, so there we go. There's all the SQL. Well done. Whew, five long questions. For the other videos in this video walkthrough of this exam paper, go to our YouTube channel, click on the subscribe button, follow us, we'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.